This one's called Journey to the Centre of the Earth. And I suppose it's like a, a theory and a story and just quite an interesting thing to talk about, I think. So for me, this kind of goes back to when I was young and uh, like I always remember, it was like a, a really old film. I don't know if it was made in the, the 70s or the 80s or that. Uh, Journey to the Centre of the Earth. I think it was like a volcano in Iceland and the, the, the journey down into it and you go into a cavern and into the, like down to the centre of the earth. So that's where I kind of first heard about it, but it always fascinated me, that kind of theory and the kind of discussion around it, just like, because, <clears throat> like obviously like that we think we know what the earth's made of and how it's constructed, it's got the, the molten iron centre and uh, like lava and all that kind of stuff and then it's got the crust and the tectonic plates and things like that but there's nobody really knows for sure nobody's been able to go down there obviously nobody like uh, like I think they've tried a few different like the Russians tried to drill a hole down deep and I think it just ended up melting their drill bit and they couldn't get down past a certain kind of level kind of thing and I think the Chinese are trying to drill a hole as well now to see if they can get down further. And to me, it's, it's just quite an interesting, because it is like the Earth's massive, so there could be a lot more stuff going on underground. You get all the myths and legends about kind of aliens and stuff and UFOs coming out of the ground and like back into the ground. And you've got all your kind of creation myths. Eh, what is it, Shambhala and stuff. Yeah, yeah. There's like the Tibetan kind of, like the, the cities underneath the ground, like the, their, uh, I don't know if it's their kind of, I'm sure it's called Shambhala. It's like their kind of gods or something that live underground. And yeah, there's like Indian myths and yeah, there's like Aztec. I'm sure it's Aztec or Incan myths as well about the underground and the ant people and all this kind of stuff. So for me, it's a really kind of just an interesting thing. And for me, when you, you like, I've, I've been watching a lot of that Skinwalker Ranch and stuff as well. Uh, and like the, the UFOs, like the orbs of the light, they seem to like come in and out of the mesa. Like that, it's like a rocky outcrop and they, they seem to just disappear into it and come out of it and there's things about like I'm sure it's like Mount Shasta and stuff in America where the UFOs seem to come in and out and so to me <clears throat> there could be for all we know there could be like an underground civilization that was maybe here long before us and they just kind of they either started off like in the ground like maybe ants or something and evolved or or they started off on the surf on the surface and then regressed underground because it's probably a lot more stable and safer. Like when if you think of the cataclysms and asteroids and storms and disasters that happen up here, if you were living under the ground, you'd be a lot safer. I think that's why the government and people like that they build underground bases because it's like secure and safe, and it's like you're out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. So there is, there's just lots of legends and stuff like that about it. And obviously when you look into it, there was the place in Turkey as well, like an underground city. And that was meant to be humans that made that. And there's just, there is, there's just, a, it's like through like the human ages, there's always been this thing about the underground. Even I suppose you could say like hell, stuff like that. There'd be things in religion about deep underground and stuff. So it's always been in our kind of psyche that uh, there is some under the ground and maybe the earth could be hollow. I'm going to do like another video about this. Uh, like, is the earth like one of the uh, Dyson spheres? Like one of the mega structures? So it could have been like a sun and then they've built a, a construction around our bit it and then the earth on the top of it that'll be for a different video but there is it's to me it's just it's just fascinating and like I say that that film is what, what kind of kicked it off for me and 
over the years I've heard different things and different mythologies and legends and religions and all kind of things and I, I don't think we, people would say it's all nonsense and it's all been proven that it's molten lava and all this kind of stuff and maybe it is but there, there could also be like beings and stuff living in an environment like that we just we maybe not be able to comprehend it because we we're like carbon based and we need like oxygen and water and air and all that kind of stuff to live they could be a completely different kind of life form where they they live off the energy or the heat or stuff like that so maybe that's what like the ufos are and they're flying in and out of like the mountains and stuff like they're they're able to like because their energy they're able to just to pass through like physical objects like the the earth and stuff and maybe it sounds a wee bit crazy kind of thing like ghosts or that but if you think energy could be a life form then it could be living in the earth kind of thing and yeah uh, it would to, to, to me it's just i think again i just even think like i know people say it's all all done and dusted and you're just talking rubbish but for me i like to explore these kind of ideas and these topics it's good like a good mental kind of like experiment or challenge kind of thing when you, you challenge yourself and you think how could that be possible and that's what i like to do in life and stuff in general like to challenge things and think about things deeply they like they don't need to be correct it could just be fantasy but it's, i still like the thought process and the, the imagination and the, the kind of creativity that, that comes out of stuff like that but to, to me it'd be quite a it, it could explain the ufos and stuff because we we're thinking there might be aliens and all that and they come from different planets and stuff but it just could be like a different life form we we don't really know about that's been living here long 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 before us and they're just like a like they could be living in the earth like i did that video about they came from the sea about they could be living in the sea for me they could be living in the whole earth kind of thing as well or or just like a, a like a, a kind of energy being and that's like their their life force is like energy I suppose like we are we're just a different form of energy but for me that, that's what the ufos and that could be and it's it is, it's just a really kind of fascinating topic and uh i'd, I'd advise you again if, if you like this kind of stuff like i say it could just be a story well it is a story there's films being made about it and journey to the center of the earth and stuff and but if you like this you should look into it and look it up in that and it's good just to kind of open your mind to, to different possibilities and think about these kind of things and I suppose it's a bit like the hollow moon there's the, the stuff about the hollow moon that I, I was on about as well and like who's, who's who are we you know that planets are they like solid and just like whatever like they could be constructions they could be like this is how they just form anyway kind of thing like and there's there's big kind of open spaces inside them where where life forms and different types of like creatures and that could love live and because um, i do again i quite like the, the kind of period we're in the now where people are kind of challenging things and talking about things more openly and that and like i say it's even if they're not true or whatever it's not it's not doing any harm or that just to discuss things and i think this is a how a lot of like culture and mythology and stories and that human it's like human nature and to, to talk about these kind of things and and because they're just interesting and fun i think just to talk about and that but so that's like the the journey to the center of the earth and uh, i think it's a really cool thing but uh, that's that anyway so I'll catch you in the next one.